matches below. Hey guys, Match Bloom here bringing you guys another desktop video. I'm um, super excited today because currently as we speak the New York Toy Fair is happening and they just revealed, uh, Lego just revealed some of their Lego uh, toys that are going to happen for the rest of the year and a little bit of the beginning of the new year. And uh, I want to go over and show them to you. So let's do this. Um, here we go. Uh, so before I get into the actual showing you guys the toys, I do want to show you that all of these images are coming from this website, uh, a Toy News International. The only reason I'm not showing you guys the images from the website itself is because there keeps happening some type of shockwave flash crash and it just doesn't let me uh, record it. So I did have to just uh, show the images in a separate tab, but I do want to give credit to Toy News International. This is the website I go to. If you guys are into action figure collecting or want to start, this is a great, web uh, great website because they have from DC Comics to G.I. Joe to Marvel, uh, pretty much any toy you might be interested, they cover it. Uh, so definitely recommend this website to you guys. But yeah, let's get into the Lego stuff. So, you know, Lego, as you guys know, is a really big toy company and they have multiple licenses. So they did show stuff outside of DC Comics. They showed Star Wars stuff. They showed Marvels, uh, I think Ninjago and other stuff. But, of course, because this channel is dedicated to DC Comics, I'm only showing you guys the Lego DC Comics superheroes. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are a bigger fan of Legos, go check them out. They have a really huge lineup for what you can expect for 2016. Uh, but the first stuff I want to show you guys is this new set. This is called the Batman Scarecrow Harvest of Fear. And it's a suggested price of $60 and it's going to come in August. Um, and here we go. Uh, so in this set, uh, they do have a box. They didn't show an image of the box itself, but uh, there is a, a box that has all this stuff. We're getting a Batcopter. Uh, that looks cool. Uh, I already have a backcopter. This definitely looks like a different design of it. So I'm glad that they're not just uh, reusing the same uh, set with a different color scheme. So I like that. We're getting Scarecrow and what believes to be some type of uh, tractor. Um, you know, uh, I'm not a farm boy. You know, I'm not Clark Kent. So I don't know exactly what vehicle this is. But this does look like something that has to do with uh, kind of cutting the big crops of uh, of corn and whatnot, but clearly we can see Scarecrow looks to be the main bad guy and right here, which is in the next image, we see a better image of Killer Moth. Now I'm super excited for this because I like when they use a lesser popular character. You know, we're going to get a thousand Jokers, we're going to get a thousand Batman, um, so I just like when they throw in characters that don't happen to show up as often. I also want to talk about this stand he's on. Uh, this looks like... We're getting pretty much a Lego flight stand, which I'm super excited for it. Um, I'm, uh, I love Legos. I've actually started collecting the DC Comics Legos. And one of the newer sets come with these like uh, weird plastic pieces right here. Um, and it's pretty much to kind of mimic this like jump. Um, it just It's like a launcher, right? But where you here you can see Batman, he has these wings, right? So I, I like that eventually we're going to have a stand to kind of showcase these characters flying because, you know, I'm a nerd and I like displaying my, my toys if they're flying type, I want them flying. And if they're running type or, or just standard type, I want them on the ground. Uh, here, again, we get to see uh, Blue Beetle. Huge fan of Blue Beetle. This is actually the first uh, Blue Beetle that I've seen, which is the Hyman Reyes Blue Beetle. I know there's a Ted Core Blue Beetle and another Blue Beetle before him, but this is by all, uh, you know, uh, purposes, this is my Blue Beetle, you know. Um, so I like that, again, we're getting him. He's not uh, that popular of a character. I hope they start pushing that character a lot more. So I'm glad he's showing up here. Um, in this set, we're also going to get a Batman uh, in an all-black bat suit, which I believe is going to be some type of, uh, some type of, you know, like gas mask to fight against the, the scarecrow toxin. We're also getting a farmer, and I I'm definitely sure this is a tractor, you know. Like, again, I said, I'm not a farmer. I'm not Clark Kent, so I don't know, but this definitely looks like a tractor. I do want to say that when I get this set and I play with it, I'm definitely going to imagine this is Jeff Johns because Jeff Johns, he always likes coming out with, uh, you know, baseball caps. And I just think an inside joke for me, it's going to be this guy's Jeff Johns. So I definitely like this set. Um, another set they're, they're showing here is Batman Killer Croc uh, Sewer Smash. Uh, this is the box image. Don't know when it's coming out. Don't know the price point for it. Um, but we do have some close-up images for the figures you're going to see in the set. 
Here we see Katana with uh, uh, Red Hood, and I believe this is his Red Hood motorcycle. Now, super excited this for the same reasons where we're getting uh, a lot more characters that haven't been the same. I do have, uh, right here, you can see I do have a Nightwing, right? So I have him, and I have the Dick Grayson Robin as well. So I'll definitely like to add the Jason Todd um, Red Hood. And I love that he's coming with a motorcycle. The more vehicles he can get, just, you know, the bigger set as well. Definitely love that we're having Gintana. Um This set and the next set I'm going to show you, um, these are definitely the Suicide Squad characters. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming around uh, the fall, you know, close to the Suicide Squad actual movie release. Uh, but yeah, so the main bad guy for this set is does apparently look like it's going to be Killer Croc. You know, he is in some type of vehicle. I don't know what it is, but I like how there's an attachment for Captain Boomerang. Uh, this definitely looks like, you know, the classic uh, motorcycle and sidecar, right? And that's what it looks like. I like that they made Killer Croc one of those, uh, I believe they're called uh, Mega Figures. I'm, I'm not sure. But he's basically a bigger figure than the standard minifig. I always wanted them to make one for a uh, Bane, you know, because in, in the original set, they didn't have these Mega Size, and Bane was always one of the smaller figures. So I really hope we eventually get a Bane one, but I love uh, that he is a, a bigger figure in general. The last vehicle we're going to get in this set is this. This is the Batman uh, vehicle. I don't know what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's going to be some type of uh, sewer vehicle, something that can ride under, uh, you know, with all that water and stuff. These look like different tracks, and we kind of, I believe this is some type of gun. We kind of see an engine right here. Definitely excited. Um, obviously, we're going to get a Batman figure. They don't show it here, but definitely excited that uh, I already have a Batmobile and a Batcopter and um, a Bat Boat. So I'll definitely like to add another Bat vehicle to the collection, you know, eventually grow out my Bat Cave. Uh, this is the other set they also showed. This is the Batman Gotham City uh, Cycle Chase. And like I said, here we have some more Suicide Squad members. So, again, my personal opinion, my guess, is these are probably going to come out close to when the movie comes out. Buying these two sets, you pretty much get a nice, uh, a nice small Suicide Squad group. So it definitely looks cool. Um, here we get a closer image. This is uh, Harley Quinn and her, and her motorcycle. And this is the, the early appearances of her in the New 52, right? The red and blue. Um... This is, again, closer to the Margot Robbie uh, Harley Quinn we're going to see in the movie because her color scheme is blue and red compared to the, you know, the classic uh, black and red Harley that we've seen right now currently in the comics and in the anime series. Uh, it is my least favorite costume of her, but, you know, I'm still happy that we're getting uh, this set. This definitely looks great. And, yeah, I love that we're getting the mallet. Um, the other close-up image is of Deadshot right here. He seems to have some type of jetpack. And, again, this new Lego flight stand. Super excited we're getting those. And I love that because he's a minifig, he seems to have this giant uh, gun. Uh, I hope this is some type of cannon or, like, bazooka and not just a standard gun. But definitely looks great. I like this costume. A lot of reminiscent to the comic book costume um, that he has right now. So I definitely like that. And the last three... Uh, oh. But, uh, right here, they, you know, there is a Batman. He is coming with a motorcycle again. Uh, I don't have a bat cycle yet, so I love that we're just going to add more vehicles to the Batman line. Um, and the next three sets are pretty much smaller sets like these. Um, if you're new to Legos, Lego tends to make the big, pe uh, the make, uh, the bigger sets. And then they kind of have these minifig, uh, bags where if you want to add more characters to your collection, they have these bags for you to purchase, um, and I think these are going to replace them. Don't know when they're coming out, but I believe these are marketed for about $10 each box, and we can see that it's two characters, and each character has their own kind of like little go-kart. Um, here we get an image outside of the box, Batman in his little, like, you know, Batmobile, and Catwoman in her little cat car. Definitely looks great. I like that this is, you know, again, classic comic book Catwoman, and I like that the, her car is purple, kind of, you know, showing that, like, little nod to her original... Uh, comic book appearance that looks great another set in that mini in that mini range is you know the flash versus captain cold and again keeping up with that go kart motif so i definitely like that uh <laughs> we're basically going to get a a mario kart set of dc comic characters and to me i just think that's awesome i think that's great uh but same thing you see flash and his little red go kart with like uh i don't know if that's fire i really wish it's lightning you know and we kind of see again a little 
a little blue card for Captain Cold, so that definitely looks cool, definitely looks awesome, uh, and just overall excited for this uh, figure. Uh, we're also getting right here, this is the last set in this like mini batch and uh <laughs> i just love right here in this image we have a uh, robin he's scared out of his mind because you know bane is throwing dynamite at him so i just love these little like uh inside jokes within the lego figures and you can see right here it, he still has that same uh face so i definitely like that but yeah robin in this go kart was a grappling hook and we have that uh bane in some and a go kart as well with dynamite and flames now, there was another set where Bane was the main character and he had some type of drill. So I like that this is pretty much the same vehicle, just in a miniature, like, go-kart version. Definitely like that they're keeping within their own continuity. So that definitely looks awesome. But yeah, like I said, I, I don't like that Bane is just a minifig. I really wish we we get eventually a one of those mega figure Banes. Because obviously Bane becomes a really huge guy, right? So hopefully somewhere down the line we get that. Um... Now, something I want to show you guys is this. This is the Lego Junior set. This is aimed more for a younger audience. You know, right here, it's a just of age of four to seven. And this is just easier for them to build. It's still small pieces, so it's not like the Lego Duplo where the, they're the bigger blocks and you can give them to infants or just a younger child. This is more, you know, just your little kids who kind of want to start playing Legos, but, it, you know, some of the other Legos are a little more complex for them to play with. So this is definitely something for them, and of course, keeping up with that, you know, Batman v Superman is coming out in theater soon. We get a Superman, a Lex Luthor, and a Batman with, you know, a mini uh, Batmobile and a mini Lex uh, robot. And this seems to be some type of back computer, so definitely looks great, definitely looks awesome. We get a close-up image of this. Um, I believe this is going to be something where Superman, you know, right now we just have plain white figures, but you can see this is going to be a Batman, a Superman, and a Lex Luthor, but this seems like something, you know, Superman is going to launch off, so definitely looks great. I can't read any of this, so I don't know what the price point is or when it comes out, but, uh, or I think it comes out in August again. So that looks great. Uh, aside from just the DC Comics version themselves, they are going to make some of the the movie and uh, TV lines. So here we get a set that it is based off the Adam West Batman 66 TV show. And this just looks awesome. Now, I do want to say they did announce this before the Toy Fair. They announced this sometime in June. Uh, it was a big reveal. This is a really big set. You're, everything you see here, you're getting. And you're pretty much getting uh, the Batcave with three vehicles and, uh, you know, let's see, four, two, three... Uh, that's about like nine minifigs. Um, so you're getting a really big set. This is coming out to close to like $300. And the reason it is so expensive is pretty much we're not going to get a Batman 66 toy line. You know, uh, not toy line, Lego line. We're only going to get this one single set and that's it. We're not going to get any more uh, Batman 66 related sets. Now, of course, this could all change if this sells really good and a lot of people buy it. They might continue to make more. Uh, Lego sets based off of that show, but uh, for the price point, we're, I don't really see that happening. So this is the one set. Um, if you're a huge fan of the show, if you're uh, you know a huge, uh, this is probably this is aimed towards the adult collector. So if you've been collecting all the Batman Six Six merchandise, this is definitely for you guys. I know that Batman has showed up in the the Batman uh, Lego Batman Three. And this is, you know, like I said, this is aimed towards that nostalgic feeling, so that's why it is such a high point. But here we can kind of see we're getting the four main uh, villains, and I say they're the main villains because these are the villains that we got in the Batman movie. Um, we see a Batmobile right there. We're going to get a Batman, obviously. You know, it would be really weird if we get the set and there's no Batman. Uh, this is going to be my favorite part. Uh, and I say this if I get this. I really doubt I'm going to get it. We can see it right here. It's like about 280 plus taxes. It's going to be around $300 coming out sometime in March, uh, but we're getting a bat cycle and a sidecar, and if you guys ever saw the, the movie, you know, there's just so many jokes when it comes to this Robin and the sidecar, uh, so I love that we're getting that, um, we're getting, you know, the pack copter right there, you know, so that looks awesome, and like you can kind of see this, this looks like this is where you will keep the bat cycle, if not this is just the entrance of the cave. And I love that they're also using it as a copter platform for the back copter itself, so that looks great. Um, this is kind of the generator that Batman has that like fuels the whole Batcave, right? So I love that they're giving us that as well. 
and we're getting the bat poles to close just such a classic scene in the old TV show where uh, Bruce Wayne integrates in, they come down and they switch into the, the bat suit. So definitely, I love that. And something I want to tell you guys, you know, if you guys are still like, man, why, how can they be car charging $300 for this? Everything here is pretty much a custom piece, you know, they're not just reusing old figures um, to, you know, they're not just repainting them because these minifigs are all different, uh, where are they? These minifigs are different sculpts. Right, not uh, you know they're just different from the standard uh, comic book Joker or Riddler or Penguin, right? So they're they're colored differently. Also, the same Batman and Robin, they're different. And um, right here, this uh, where's the image? Right here, up here, they didn't have a close-up image of it, but this is the the pretty much Bruce Wayne's uh, office, right? This is his study. You see the Grace and Bruce Wayne, Alfred, and we're getting the little uh, statue right there. So. Even though it is, uh, we're also getting uh, some type of like laboratory here. I really wish we could have had a back computer. I think that's the one missing piece to really make this set a really great set. Um, it's still a great set re regardless, but just that it would have been a little cherry on top. Uh, but I just think, even though it is a big price point, I think for what we're getting, it, it's valid. You know, that's pretty much what I want to come across. It's still a valid price point. What do I want to show you? The next after this, uh, here. Um, so we're getting we're gonna show you guys the Donna Justice set. These are already out. You can go to your local Toys R Us, Target, whatever. You can buy these. Um, but they're, they're, they are showing them at the Toy Fair. So I figured I'd show you guys as well. I believe this set is about sixty dollars. You're gonna get the the Batwing, uh, Lex Luthor, uh, or Lex Corp Copter, and you're pretty much getting all the main characters of the movie, which is Lex Luthor, Lois Lane, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. So if you just want to buy one Lego set, you know, I would suggest this set. Um, it definitely seems to be the best bang for your buck. And here we get an outside image of it, you know, Batman on his bat wings, Superman flying, and we get Wonder Woman. I haven't bought this set, but apparently this one comes with that Lego flight set. So if it does, I might have to pick it up just for the stands, you know. Um, this is another set they have, which comes with the Batmobile and some LexCorp, uh employees in a freight truck that has um that has what i believe is kryptonite this one i believe is about 40 dollars i'm not sure but yeah this is also a great set and then the last set they have is if you guys remember that first uh teaser trailer that they showed in the in the very first like comic con where it's like batman and he lifts up his bat signal and then we see superman flying down this is what pretty much this uh this little set is basically you know we have the armored batman this looks like some type of rooftop the bat light and we have superman right so and i believe this one i want to say it's a, about 30 dollars i'm not sure but this set is also all of these donald justice line it's available um personally i've only been buying the comic book based ones um so i don't think i'm gonna buy the movie ones it's just not really not really my style but you know they're still great i'm definitely gonna pick up you know the killer croc one i'm gonna pick up the scarecrow one um, I'm not sure about everything else, you know, like I said, if, if, for whatever reason, I get an extra $300, I might pick up that Batman 66 one, but for me, definitely this, uh, the Scarecrow one, oh, and the Harley Quinn and Deathshot one, those, uh, those three are probably gonna be the ones I purchase this year if I get new Lego sets. Um, I do have, uh, a younger cousin, he's really into Legos, and he wants to make YouTube videos just like me, he's offered to help, so... If I do get some of these new Lego sets, um, you know, he'll help me out with those videos and just look forward to them, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything from Lego DC Comics for the Toy Fair itself. Uh, comment down below, guys. Tell me, uh, are you guys excited for any of these? Or have any of them really surprised you or interested in any of them? What are you guys' thoughts on the $300, you know, Batman 66 TV set? You guys think that's crazy or you guys agree with me that it is somewhat reasonable? Uh, but yeah, like always guys, comment down below, like the video if you guys like it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe and look forward to more videos. Uh, thanks and goodbye.